The mid-range has almost always been the value sweet spot for many PCs, and the B-Link Sur 5 is a new entry which takes the crown. It features the Ryzen 5560U, a 6-core, 12-thread processor with Vega graphics. B-Link sells it in one pre-built configuration, which should be fine for most. Inside the box is a manual, VESA mount and screws, dual HDMI cables and the 57 watt power supply. The ports are the same as on the B-Link Intel C12 variant, three USB, one being Type-C and also an audio jack. On the rear, dual HDMI, USB 2 and Gigabit LAN. It's basic, but should be enough. Unfortunately, USB-C power delivery is not included. The box itself looks pretty cool. A design mashup of an Intel NUC merged with an audio speaker, thanks to the mesh on top of the unit. The Mini is mostly made out of plastic, and build quality is solid. The bottom lid is made out of metal. Unlike the Say 12, it's not easy to remove. So you'll need a tool to pry it open. And watch out for the SATA ribbon cable while opening it. Inside, you'll find a Kingston NV1 500GB NVMe drive and 16 gigabytes of crucial DDR4-3200. The M.2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth card is a MediaTek Wi-Fi 6E. The BIOS has plenty of options. You can change the fan settings, but it works fine as is. B-Link Sur 5 comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. I also tried a couple other operating systems. Chrome OS Flex has issues. Wi-Fi doesn't work at all, and audio playback is a bit messed up. We're unboxing the B-Link Sur 5 Mini PC. Ubuntu on the other hand had no problems. Penguin lovers unite! Performance wise, B-Link Sur 5 is an interesting Mini PC. It had the lowest single core CPU score, but it outdid the Mini's forum UM560 by 15% in multi-core, and even outpaced the B-Link SA12, a much lower power consumption. The Sur 5 fell behind the Say 12 in video coding by around 11%, but was ahead of the UM560 by 7%. The included storage drive has good read and write performance. Something new I'm adding to this review is the NVMe SSD temperature test. The max recorded was 63C during my usage, which is okay. 3D Mark is another area where the Sur 5 fell behind, but the included AMD graphics always performs better in real-world applications. Still, it falls behind the Mini's Forum UM560 AMD graphics by around 13% on average. Let's check out how it actually performs in games. In Forza Horizon 5, the Sur 5 isn't far behind the UM560. Both are far ahead of the Intel SA12 model. But everything changes with Hades. The Intel unit is much faster than both AMD minis and the Sur 5 is dead last. In Spider-Man though, it kicks the Intel unit's butt with a frame rate up to 30% better. All units are memory bandwidth limited in Valorant. In Doom Eternal, both AMD units performed pretty much identically. Emulation wise, the Sur 5 can't hold a locked 60 FPS in Semi with Splatoon but the Intel unit did it no problem. And for Breath of the Wild, you're looking at the mid 20 FPS range. PS3 emulation was pretty interesting. The Sur 5 held 60 FPS in Ridge Racer 7 at 1080p, while the Intel variant didn't. But for other games such as Wipeout HD Fury, I had to drop the resolution to get closer to full speed. And while Motorstorm Pacific Rift has less graphical glitches, it runs slower than on the Intel unit. Overall, not a bad emulation box. I'd keep my expectations with PS3 games low, but everything under it should be okay. Idle Power Draw is pretty much as expected from the Ryzen 5000U series. 
Max power is about half of Intel's 12th gen series, and it's down 21% on the Mini's forum UM560. While you're getting less single core CPU and graphics performance, there are power savings, which translates into one of the lowest maximum CPU temperatures of all the Mini's I've reviewed in this lot. Oh, and no thermal throttling was recorded. The low power draw means less heat, so it's a very quiet mini PC. Ah, bliss. If fan noise annoys the crap out of you, as it does for me, the mid-range minis are where it's at. While the Minis Forum UM560 has some nicer features, the pre-built price difference is huge. 389 US dollars for the B-Link versus 499 for the UM560. It's really hard to beat the Sur 5 on value. If you don't need fancier features, then at the current lowered price, this MIDI is a no-brainer. It gets a thumbs up for value. And if you're looking for a solid Intel variant, do check out my review of the B-Link Say 12. Cheers!